So the fault self is either going to drop or not, right? Yeah. Uh, except, of course, when the body dies, then it's going to drop, right? Yeah, yeah. And... It's never really happening, though. So I'm kind of saying yes to... Like, it's never really happening. You're never the Bradley character. So... <clears throat> and I think I heard you say something within the last week or two. And until it's until it's seen, <clears throat> then. there will be some part of false self just ready to try to claim it. Till it's... I, I'm sorry? What do you mean, till it's seen? Until, until what you're sharing with us is seen. Meaning, well, and, until the the drop or uh, until the dissolve or until yeah then. it often seems to be a gradual thing so it seems to be something that happens over time and in that the person comes back and claims it often because as soon as because even like even me describing what happened in bali is totally irrelevant like i like i answer it because people ask but at the same time that's that's got nothing to do with what is now this is what is now but when when the often if there's a big collapse when after that the person then keeps living in that comparison before after before after <clears throat> But that's all experiences. And this is talking about no experience. This is not an experience. So with that, just off of that, until there is no experience, then some experience will be there. When there's no lo longer anybody experiencing this, then there's right. simply what is, with nothing holding on to anything to be to somebody happening to this happening to and until that know somebody then there will be some degree of, of an illusion of a somebody who got enlightened yeah ready to either compare or yeah uh, uh, but that's so that's so subtle um, a lot of speakers um, and a lot of people that claim claim enlightenment still believe they're enlightened. It's so subtle. But who? Who is there but what is? It's the end of every ounce of arrogance. The person would never want this because the person really wants to get something.
drop or the dissolve happens or not has nothing to do with the activities of no nothing nothing the person might become more relaxed and more content if it's doing certain activities over other activities and people think that is that is them on the way to experiencing more peace so if the person's um, taking loads of drugs and partying all the time and uh, and uh, is not looking after themselves then they're most likely gonna be experiencing more chaos and more emotional flux fluxes than somebody that's eating I don't know vegan or something and going to bed and sleeping 10 hours a night and um, and but not necessarily but they might have a more peaceful life but that's still nothing to do with what I'm talking about but the person that's experiencing a more peaceful life will think if they're studying liberation that they've become more liberated because they're only looking as liberation as a thing whereas it's no experiences so what's what's left if this isn't an experience if this isn't any form of experience what's left It's not any form, it's not an emotion, it's not a feeling, not a thought, not an idea, not a past event or a future event. Not a person, not words. Every thought about what is, every idea about what is, every feeling and every emotion is an experience in what is, it's not actually describing it. That is what is. It's not looking at what is. There can't be anything looking at what is. There is simply what is. So the experience of what is is filtered through a lie kind of yeah through the lie of somebody somebody is looking at what is even in advaita people come to the conclusion okay consciousness is it consciousness of things but that's also an illusion as well there is simply things there is simply what is there is nothing conscious of what is you could say everything is conscious but there's not anything separate from the things the objects are the seeing, the light is the seeing, the, the air is the seeing, there is simply what is happening and there's nobody seeing it, there's nobody experiencing it, it's totally boundless and huge. And it's so how obvious how the mistake happened in humans. As soon as humans began to speak, they began to be able to describe time. And with the ability to describe time, they believed that who they actually were was something moving in time. Whereas prior to the ability to be able to speak, there was only ever what was happening. So this idea of time and the person exist together and they're both imagination.
And there's nothing wrong with speaking about what the body did and didn't do, but that's not who's experiencing this. It's another experience in this. A divine experience of beautiful, all the different seemingly unique bodies, like all the different unique trees and birds. But that is not the experience of the body, the somebody. Everything is the experience or nothing. And it's not separate from the things, it's not experiencing the things. The experience is the things. So at some point, or at a point, all experience for somebody could be for nobody. Is that right? Always. That's always the way it's happening. Even though there's a somebody appearing, feeling like they're experiencing, it's never happening for someone. You're always enlightened. There's always total enlightenment. But the person believes that it's an activity enlightenment so it looks for something whereas there's this big huge nothingness which is everything <laughs> so who hears the sound of my voice now hearing hears. <laughs> but the hearing isn't separate from the sound, they're one and the same thing. So there's nothing that's actually experiencing this, there's only ever what is happening. Your hearing doesn't start inside the head or at the edge of Lisa's sound. In the actual experience, there's simply sound happening. You said, even today, and I'll paraphrase, that um, this, the separate somebody wouldn't want this. Oh, yeah. So yeah. is there ever, and it's not even important, but this is just a question that's coming up. Is there ever a time, <laughs> kind of like the matrix, where the separate somebody is gone, but then, I guess not, but it's like, Regrets it. No. In the part of waking up, it might be like, holy fuck, I'm giving myself up. Why would I want to give me up in the awakening part? I mean, you're really going to lose yourself, Bradley. That's the cost of this. But the person, bless it, always, when it hears that, it still imagines that as a thing. So then it's like, that's okay, because that's a thing. There's some sort of experience. Imagine having no idea who was experiencing this. Imagine having no idea of a difference between you and the world. So someone shouting at you and screaming at that body, at Bradley's body, and there's no difference, there's no idea that they're screaming at you. There's simply screaming happening. Always. So you're making love with your lover and you have no idea you're making love with your lover. It's blissful actually. I wouldn't... when like, the person interferes, but you totally lose yourself. The person wouldn't actually want that. It would still want to have some form of awareness. 
self-awareness to make sure it's not acting like a complete idiot <laughs> it's so intimate this conversation because I can see you you can't see me but I can see you Thank you, Nisa. Thanks, Bradley. Bye. Bye.